Yes, sir. Hi, Will. Okay, we're going to get started with questions. So, um, Anthony Dasher, you want to start? I'll start off. Will, just kind of take us through that fifth inning, man. Uh, I mean, bases loaded, a 3 1 count. Uh, Got to make a perfect pitch in that situation, obviously. And you were able to get that 4 6 3 double play. I mean, it looked like for a while that might be the kind of the play that kind of kept y'all back in this one. Just uh, the pitch you made and just uh, getting out of that inning. How did, how did what, what went down with that? Uh, yes, sir. Kind of knew, kind of knew it was a big spot. Um, and just going through my mind, just knew had to had to put in their first strike and let the defense play behind you. And so I got in their first strike and they had a great turn up the middle. And, you know, and I know you've gotten off to a good start, six scoreless innings, but uh, I know the pitching as a whole, the walks or something that Coach Trickman has kind of talked about uh, a lot. It's just one of those things where just, uh, you know, again, you're talking about a lot of freshmen are seeing action right now, just uh, an experienced thing that's kind of leading to some of that right now, or kind of what would you put your finger on when you're talking about the walks? As um, a whole, yeah, I, I, it might be a little bit of that and just kind of getting comfortable out there. And I think once everyone, you know, just gets settled in and comfortable, I, I think we're going to be able to handle that. All right. Thanks, buddy. Sir. Okay. We're going to go in the same order again uh, with Davis, Jed, and then Will. Yeah. Well, you just talked about being comfortable. What's led you as a freshman to be so comfortable so far? Um, well, I mean, I guess just kind of throughout, throughout my life with baseball, I've always pitched in, in the end of the games. I've never been a starter. So being late in the game, thrown to the fire, just kind of, Kind of what I've done, so I always try to feel comfortable and don't speed the game up. Yeah, Will. Uh, on the, on the topic of the walks, you know, is it the type of thing where you know once one guy starts struggling with that on the mound, it, it kind of spreads throughout the bullpen and the rest of the staff. Sort of, how do you, I guess, can, can that mindset sort of um, affect all you guys once one guy starts struggling with his control? Um, I mean, stuff in baseball can be contagious, but I. I think our staff as a whole has has the ability to all go out there and throw strikes, and I think it's just kind of been like maybe like a little bit of a fluke thing because I, I really believe in our staff as a whole and think we're going to get settled in and begin to throw strikes and cut down on our walks. How frustrating is it for you guys knowing, you know, it's not like you're giving up three hits in an inning, you're, they're roping extra base hits all over the place. It, it's stuff like walks that are allowing these runs to come in. Just how frustrating is that for a pitching staff? Um, I mean, it's frustrating for our staff as a whole, and we're working every day just to cut down on those and make them earn the runs. Hey, Will, um, you know, obviously not a, not a ton of fans out there right now, um, but can you, you know, describe the atmosphere out here on the field and just kind of reflect for me what it's like to be um, on the mound at Foley in your, in your first year? Um, I mean, obviously with COVID, the, we don't have full capacity and everything, but I mean, it's a college baseball game playing in the SEC. So that atmosphere is always going to be there and everyone's always going to want to compete. You're going to get your best from every mid-major. And so, I mean, I think that atmosphere and just kind of, that's all still there. Okay, that's going to conclude tonight's Zoom. Thank you, Will, um, and thank you, everyone. We'll see you all.